The pangolin is a cocker spaniel-sized mammal with tough fur forming scales all along its body. It's currently one of the most heavily poached animals in the world. Customs officials have seized tons of frozen pangolins over the past few years. Pangolins live in Africa and Asia. In these regions, some believe the pangolin's scales have medicinal value and its meat is considered delicacy. Researchers are looking to another greatly poached animal, the elephant, for a way to save this small, scaly creature. By collecting elephant dung samples, Samuel Wasser at the University of Washington and his colleagues created DNA reference maps of elephants across Africa. They used 16 different genetic markers of microsatellite DNA and collected samples from across the whole continent to identify population differences. They obtained the same genetic markers from poached ivory and matched these to their DNA reference map to pinpoint where the animals were poached. In the same way that DNA evidence can be run through a database of known criminals, researchers can also match tusks from the same elephant in different seizures, linking the dealers to multiple seizures. Wasser's elephant map took 15 years to create, but the pangolins don't have that much time. An added challenge, pangolins aren't conspicuous social creatures like elephants. They are cryptic and solitary, making it harder to locate many small pangolins at once. In order to fast track the process, researchers are using detection dogs to sniff out pangolin dung for genotyping. If researchers can find where the poached pangolin are coming from, they can identify the places that need urgent law enforcement attention. Stopping the poaching at the site of the crime is important for halting the whole trade and saving the pangolins.